Hello guys, today I am going to start with TestNG tutorial and uh, this TestNG tutorial is very very important when you want to work with Selenium web driver, right? Uh, we will see going forward how this TestNG will help us in Selenium web driver but before that we will understand what is TestNG. So why TestNG framework is required? Basically, TestNG framework is like JUnit and NUnit framework what we have already. But this TestNG has lot more feature, lot more uh, uh, reporting functionality we have in the TestNG uh, framework. The TestNG has certain set of uh, configurations like it supports annotations, it supports multi-threading it supports parameter we can supply parameter to our test scripts right and uh, the test ng uh, this plugin is supported by a lot of tools and a lot of plugins basically test ng is also a plugin it is supported by a lot of tools right it has a dependent method for application server testing right so when you have application server testing it has a dependent methods right and it has emailable html report which is generated by test ng so overall it has all the feature what we need for the automations right and test ng is basically designed to cover all category of test uh, unit testing functional testing end to end testing integration testing all the testing we can perform through test ng and the test ng for everything we will have a annotation so we need to understand how we should use test ng annotations for uh, all the scripts and uh, how we can take advantage of annotations right we will see one by one how this test ng annotations works for that what i will do is i will uh, before creating a test ng project what i will what we need to make sure that you need to have test ng plugin installed in your eclipse to check that what you can do is you can go uh, here help right and go eclipse marketplace okay go here in the help menu you have eclipse marketplace here you check for test ng whether you have test ng in your eclipse or not so you can just type here test ng and click on go so when you click on go what happens is this test ng will if it is not installed it will ask you to install if it is installed it will show here so it will take some time because it will fetch from the marketplace so here test ng for eclipse you guys can see that here it is saying that installed in your case if it is not installed in your eclipse you will get install button here so click on the install and follow the steps so it's a very simple state uh, steps just you need to click on the install like here right you will get options like this install then you will have uh, check the conditions like I accept a license and then go next 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 it's open source right and then it will take some time and Eclipse will get installed in your uh, sorry test ng will get installed in your Eclipse once it is done what we can do is I am going to create one Maven project. So to create a Maven project in the Eclipse, right click, go to the new, go to the new and then we will go for Maven project, right? So here we have a Maven project or you go to the project here and just type here M-A-V-E-N. So you will have Maven project, click on next. then click on next then click on next here you have a group id and artifact id so group id uh, let me write uh, let me just write com and here let me write test ng okay com and test ng so uh, artifact id uh, basically it's a project name and this is the package name right then click on finish so we can see that the test ng project will get created here and uh, when 
this test uh, when this maven project will get created here we have src main and src test so two folder will get created here one is src main and one is src test okay two folder will get created here uh, this src main folder here uh, in the src main folder uh, wait a second yeah so actually you know some update was going on here finally you should get like this src main java src test java so src main java is the locations where you can write your all java code in src test basically you can write your test code the code which you want to run but there is no hard and fast rule you can write in any folder and then you can see that there is something called maven dependency so here let's say if you are working with any uh, framework right it requires supported library to work with any framework we need to attach supported library and how should we attach library to the project for that we have something called pom.xml so when you click on the pom.xml and make sure that you have jdk 1.8 in your system okay make sure that otherwise you will not get src main java and src test java so make sure that you have jdk 1.8 right click on the project go to properties of the project go to java build path and here i don't have 1.8 so what i'll do is i'll go to the library i'll remove this okay and i will go to add library and i have 1.8 in my system so i'll go to next and I have you know default 1.8 so click on finish so if you look at here this is JDK 1.8 you can see that you know JDK 1.8 got added now once you have JDK 1.8 go to pom.xml and here you click on dependencies so click on these dependencies okay so you can see that some J only dependency got added okay here you have something called pom.xml so click on pom.xml so when you click on pom.xml you can see that this is the by default pom.xml which has been generated by the mapping project and here by default you have junit added but i don't want junit so what i can do is i can remove this dependency from here okay once i will remove the dependency you can see that there's uh, it will show some error here uh, not here basically this is the default code generated by maven so you can see some error here because i have deleted the j unit so delete the this test also so let me delete this test because i don't want this default test okay cool so now i'll go to the pom.xml and i will add test ng dependency right so write angle bracket right and depen dependencies right so dependencies means we can add multiple dependency inside that so now right click uh, angle bracket and add a dependency so what dependency i want to add i want to add test ng dependency to do that i will go to the google and i will look for test ng dependency so i'll write write test ng dependency so i'll click on that go to the maven and this is the 6.8 but i will go for the latest one so i'll go here maven repository right i'll go for this and the latest one is 6.14 so always go one behind go for 6.13 which is perfectly fine so copy this dependency from here come to your eclipse and you don't need to write dependency here because when you copy the dependency from uh, google it had the dependency right control shift f okay now what is this packaging is equal to jar uh, this packaging is equal to jar i don't want that so i'll remove this just a minute i don't want this so i'll remove this okay so now there is no error in the project and you can see that we have added one test ng dependency here and which is present inside the 
dependencies folder so this uh, closing of angle bracket is very important here you can see that opening of angle bracket here it is a closing of angle bracket once this is done what you do is you right click on the project right click on the project and uh, we will go for go to uh, maven okay and click on update project and click on force update click on ok so here you can see that update in maven project so this project will get updated okay which means it will download all the required uh, library from the google and your project will get updated So this project got updated now and now what I will do is I will just refresh the project once refresh that okay. so right click again go to the uh, properties of the project and here I can see that there is some uh, it is saying that uh, this uh, repository is missing okay this repository is missing so I'll do one thing I'll fix this repo I'll fix this just a minute so actually there was some uh, network issue in my uh, system right now dependency got downloaded so again what I did is I went to the maven here and i updated the project okay and the dependency got downloaded so ideally you should not get this issue in my system there was no, some network connectivity issue now once this will get downloaded if you'll go if you'll click on this maven dependencies you can see that test ng jar got added now your project is ready to uh, work with test ng now you can start with the test ng so in second video uh, i will i will talk about how we can work with testng annotation so the first video was the introductions and how we need to do configurations for the testng in the eclipse thank you guys thank you for watching this